Yo, what's going on, guys? It's RGV2 here, back with another player review. Again, I'm back, 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 yeah, again, yeah, yeah. Guess who back, back, back with another review, review, review for you, you, you. I'll, I'll stop now, I'll never sing again. Sorry, guys. Anyways, we've got another big player. We've got another big player. You're probably thinking, how did I get the money to afford this guy? <laughs> you don't know about me. I grind, I grind, I grind. We've got shapeshifter Riyad Mahrez. The card I've been waiting for all year. The Cam Mahrez. Because let's be honest, who wants to play Mahrez in winger? In ultimate team. Are you really trying to play right wing Mahrez up against the likes of Mendy? Huh? You Alibus. Marcellos, Robertsons, you think this skinny boy Morris? No offense, Morris. L L low physique, Morris. Let's just say low physique. That's a bit rude of what I said. Sorry, Morris. Yeah, great player. This low physique, Morris is really gonna get past those meta players. Come on, man. That's why I've been waiting all season for this Cam Morris, man. Because Morris and Cam would be dangerous, man. And look, they've only gone and uploaded a dangerous card. EA, well done for this card. Now. My answer already. Let me be straight up to the point. Keep or buy or sell or avoid. My answer is make sure you keep that card or make sure you buy that card because this card is amazing. This card was amazing. I absolutely loved him. He was the star man in my weekend league back last week. I absolutely loved this Morris card. Look at his stats. Look at the look at the stats of the card. Just look at them. 89 pace Woo! 87 shooting For a cam 88 passing That's what I need The, the shoot He's got the pace Shooting and the passing That's what I need in cam You can already tell He's going to be leading the team And you know what's good about that If you want to You can play him striker If you want to You can play him cam But however What I don't recommend is See I try to play him in a 4-3-1-2 Formation and I tried to use him as the centre mid. So I tried, I played him in the free centre mid instead of the cam. I played him in the free centre mid. And he was decent. He was decent. But he didn't make enough goal contributions and attacking contributions as I would have wanted him to. So I'm going to say this now. Do not use Mahrez. Do not use Mahrez in a midfield as in centre mid or CDM. Make sure with this type of card, you you will only get the best out of him when you're using him in a cam formation. So make sure you play him in cam if you want the best out of this card. Because I'm telling you, attacking wise in cam, he is a beast. Absolute beast. Let's resume back to his card stats that we're seeing here. 93 dribbling. Oh my days. And his five star skills. His four star weak foot. Oh my days. The skills I was doing with Mares. Me and Mares were just dribbling past everyone. Oh. But like I said, this is the part that brings him down. If you're going to play him centre mid. The 43 defending and the low physical. You're not going to want to play him centre mid with them stats. That's why you should play him in cam. Have him doing doing quick quick two two dribblings in the cam. Have him playing three balls in the cam. He can even be thrown goal sometimes and he will finish his dinner because that's what he does. Riyad Mahrez. Look at the eight. Look at the eight. Look at the card. Does this card not look beautiful to you? 89 rated cam. This card, yeah. Now you know me, I love my cams. And I've used I've used Scream Urzel. And you guys know I'm a long time fan of Scream Urzel. But this card was just what made this card was just excellent. This card was just excellent, man. Cam, don't don't use them rubbish right wing Mahrez. Don't use them. Those are rubbish. You're not gonna get far with those. Use this Cam Mahrez. This Cam one is dangerous. This card is so dangerous. This Cam is a bad card. Yeah, yeah. Use this one. I'm sorry for the singing again, guys. But yeah, use this one. Look at the stats of him. 55 games, 48 goals, and 44 assists. This card is dangerous. This card is so dangerous. See what I'm saying? This card this card can score and he can assist. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Score and assist. That's how dangerous this card is, man. This card is excellent. Anyways, attribute DLs. Let's go into that. Wow. Look at the pace. 
89 pace, 92 acceleration, 86 sprint speed. Look at his shooting, attacking positioning is 88, finishing 85. You can play him striker if you want, but the physique. Okay, let, let me say this again. Don't play him as a single striker by himself. Play him in a with a play him with another partner, something like that. But you're gonna make, but make sure like make sure like Morris is the is the, the the holding one. Make sure he's the first nine. Make sure he's the one slipping the three balls to another fast striker. But you, like I said, if you want to, you can use him as the the the, the other striker who's making the runs strong goal. But be careful because the Van Dykes will bully him off the ball unless you're very unless you're very skillful at FIFA. You do a lot of skills. Then yeah, do your thing. Shot power eighty eight. Woo. Long shots eighty nine. Woo. Volleys eighty four. Passing, look at the vision, nay, look at the crossing, nay, look at the free kick, 86, look at the short passing, woo, look at the long passing, woo, look at the curve, the curve. And then you got the dribbling. 96 agility, 90 balance, 80 reactions, 94 ball control, you're not getting that ball off Morris's feet. I'll let you know that now, you're not getting that ball off Morris's feet. Dribbling 94 and composure 87. Morris scored a lot of goals for you, man. Morris, when I bought Morris, I wanted Morris to be my main man headed into the weekend league. I said to myself, "All right, I'm going to use this car as my main player. He's going to be my my main player for the for the weekend league. He's going to dictate everything. He's going to get us the goals. He's going to produce the goals." And I, and he did exactly that. I knew he I knew what I wanted this card for. I saw this card and I said, "Yeah, this is going to be my main man for the weekend league." And he was. And my team for the weekend league around Morris was actually shocking. My my team was so poor. That's why he was the main man. I think I had like 87 Son and Rashford up top. I used a, I played a 4-3-1-2. I had Morris in camp. Son as a striker and Rashford. 83, 83 Rashford. Can you believe it? It's April and I'm still using 83 Rashford. But Rashford still did his take for me. I won't lie. Rashford was actually absolutely excellent. But Morris, Morris in camp was excellent as well, man. He held it down in that midfield. He held it down. But his physique does bring him down, but... His stamina is excellent. That's what I'm saying. So if you're thinking, should I get this card? Yes. Now, if you're wondering, I don't have Morris now. Because I, I, I changed team again. Because, you know, I like to do reviews. I like to be creative. And with this, with the team I had now, with Morris playing, I finished in goal two. Which was which is decent for me, you know. I should be getting gold one. But I finished in goal two. And for, for my first weekend league back in, like, what, how many months? Yeah, it was good. So, but I did sell Morris because I did get bored of him. And I wanted to try new players. So yeah, but however, right now Morris' price is still high, which means that he's still a useful card and he still is a great card. So get use him now and get the best out of him. I'm letting you guys know. Just use him now and get the best out of him. Let's check out his traits. Finesse shot. Hey, Morris out on the edge of the box. Woo! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't want to let him shoot. You don't want to let him shoot. He's got the flair. Long shot taker. I didn't really use any long shot takers, long shots with him. Because you know everyone just has overpowered keepers in any way. They have the Testagons or just have special card keepers. So long shots are just not happening. And technical dribbler. Yeah, he, he's that. He's got that. He's, this card is absolutely magnificent, man. You, you, you've, just seen, you've seen the highlights that I've put up of him. He's absolutely excellent. I'm telling you guys, invest in this card now before it turns into a wash card. Which is probably not going to happen. But yeah, invest in this card, man. Use him in cam and you'll get the best out of this card. Anyways, that's been it for my Morris review. That's all I've got to say. I've told you guys, get this card. Buy this card. Keep the... Keep, I say keep the card, but if you're tired of the card, then, you know, move on from the card. But, yeah, invest in this card. Buy this card now. And I made a profit on him as well. I bought him for, like, what? I, I think I bought him for 330 or, was he a, or probably 310 310k. And I sold him for 340 Wow, I sold him for 340. That's how banging he is. That's how banging he is. But yeah, guys, you know the drill. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the main channel. Like this video. Share this video. Comment in this video. Let me know what you think of Morris. If you've had Morris, let me know. Any questions you got, put it down below in the comments. And yeah, that's been it for the Morris review, guys. Peace.